Hi, I'm Mark Roberts, and I write the developer documentation for InfoPath and InfoPath Form services. I'm going to demonstrate how to add code to an InfoPath Form template that retrieves information about the current user from the Active Directory directory service. I'm starting from a form that contains these nine fields, but your form could contain any of the fields that are available from the Active Directory directory service. I'm also using a button control to make testing and running the code easier to demonstrate. But the company article shows you how to add the code to the form's loading event so that the fields will be automatically filled in when the user first opens the form. InfoPath's default security settings won't allow code to access user information in the Active Directory. So before I add the code, I'm going to set the security level of the form to full trust. To do that, open the Forms Options dialog box. Select the Security and Trust category. Clear the Automatically Determined Security Level checkbox. And then select Full Trust. Now that that's done, I'll double click the button. Click the Edit Form Code button to start up the VSTA Code Editor to examine the code. To get the user's information from the Active Directory, I'm using members of the System Directory Service namespace. So I've added a reference to that assembly right here and added a using directive to the top of the code. Now I'll explain what the event handler code is doing. First, the code gets the user's username using the username property of the user class. Then it creates a directory searcher object, passing in the mail nickname with the actual username as the LDAP filter to specify the user to search for in the active directory. Next, the code uses the find one method of the directory searcher class to find the specified user and returns the result to a search result object. Before continuing, and make sure that the user was found and then creates a directory entry object to retrieve the collection of attributes for that user. Then it gets the values of each of the nine specified attributes for the property collection of the directory entry object and saves them to string variables. The article that accompanies this video shows you how to loop through the entire property collection so that you can see the names of all the Active Directory attributes that are available from the collection that is returned by your directory service. In some cases, the value that's returned is a distinguished name that contains additional properties. This is the case for the manager property, so the code parses out just the substring of the manager's name. Now that the code has the values from the directory, it creates an XPath Navigator object and then uses the Select Single Node method to select each field in the form's underlying XML document and then sets their values using the set value method. Let's go back to the form and preview the form to see the code work. I'll just click the Preview button. and then click the Get User Information button to add my user information to the form. That's the end of this demonstration. See the company article for complete details on how to create the form template and write the code. Thanks for watching.